If you guys can hear heaps of noise going on running around upstairs, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. My kittens that I got the other day are going nuts, so yeah. If you guys have been following along my channel for a while, you know that the 24mm is my main go-to lens and I really don't like to go much tighter than 35mm for my main, uh, you know, do-it-all kind of lens. And for engagement shoots, family sessions, things like that, I really only take one camera and one lens because I just like to be freer and interact with the couple more than deciding on which lens to use and all that kind of stuff. I do, however, get a little bit comfortable with the 24 because I am a full-time wedding photographer and I shoot a lot and I shoot 90% of everything with the 24mm G Master. I did go through a little bit of a stage with the 35mm Sigma, but I ended up coming back to the 24. So last night I had an engagement shoot with this really awesome couple. We had a great time and I decided that I would get a little bit out of my comfort zone and I just took my a7R4 and the 55mm 1.8 eight Zeiss lens with me. I didn't take anything else and I'd done the whole engagement shoot with this. I didn't use crop mode or anything like that. I know I get asked about that sometimes. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of before and after photos because I think you guys like seeing that. So the 55mm 1.8 Zeiss lens has always been one of those lenses that's always in my bag. I have bought it and sold it a couple of times. I think this is like the third copy I've ever had uh, and it was the first lens I ever bought when I switched over to Sony from Nikon all those years ago. Honestly it still stands up. It's still a fantastic lens. I really like like how it performs the focus is really fantastic so it is really a good all-rounder and when you're pairing it up with something like a 24 I find that 24 55 combo is really fantastic if you were main shooting a 35 then I'd probably go 35 85 just so you get a little bit more difference in your field of view uh, but yeah, 55-24 is just a fantastic combo. The main reason I like to shoot 24mm is just that perspective you get and the, you know, it's more of an environmental lens. You can see a lot more of what's going on around you. I actually made a video just on using perspective with the 24mm and how I go about composing images with the 24 I'll put that link up here somewhere so you guys can see that video as well. Saying that though, the 55mm does give a really nice flattering compression and it is really good when you have a really busy background like in a forest area like at this waterfall we were shooting at and yeah it just does a better job of compressing everything and getting a little bit noise out of the background. I do get asked a lot about which lens should be their first purchase when people are switching over to Sony or maybe just getting into photography in general and you're getting like a full frame Sony camera and the 55mm is always a really good go-to if you don't like 35 maybe you want to get a little bit tighter so I just really wanted to make this video to show you guys you can do an entire shoot with the 55mm no worries at all it is a really fantastic lens and you really don't need a lot of lenses to uh, get started in your career. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video in a few days.